Black Americans have endured several injustices throughout American history, including cruel and widespread massacres that took place all over the nation. From the Tulsa Race Massacre of 1921 to the movie bombing in 1985, these killings frequently motivated by racism and white supremacy have claimed the lives of countless innocent black men, women, and children. The black community has deeply been affected by these atrocious incidents. Let's look at some of the most horrific acts of violence against black Americans in this video. Recognizing and teaching black history is essential for providing a complete and accurate understanding of the past, promoting diversity and addressing the ongoing effects of systemic racism. Numerous innocent lives have been lost in the massacres throughout history. The black community faced significant wounds. We must acknowledge these tragedies and draw attention to them to progress towards an equitable society. The Atlanta Massacre will be our first example. With the inflow of new citizens, Atlanta transformed in the 1880s, going from a thriving city to the hub of the regional economy. The city's population grew dramatically from 89,000 in 1900 to an astounding 150,000 by 1910. But this boom also brought several difficulties, including high strain on municipal services. The city's white administration established limitations intended to regulate the emerging working class with varying degrees of success in reaction to the job struggle between black and white workers and growing class differences. Furthermore, sensationalized newspaper accounts of the purported rapes of four white women by black men served as the impetus for the Atlanta Race Massacre of 1906. Americans were killed by hanging, shooting, beating, and stabbing, and white mobs vandalized black areas, homes, and businesses. For decades, white historians mostly disregarded the massacre. It wasn't until the event's 100th anniversary in 2006 that it was widely commemorated and eventually added to the state's curriculum for public schools. However, the horrifying murders of black Americans continued after 1906. In Rosewood, a small Florida community just 17 years after the Atlanta Massacre, a terrible incident took place. The Springfield Massacre, also known as the Springfield Race Disturbance of 1908, was a two-day disturbance that had taken place in Springfield, Illinois, on August 14th and 15th. The riot resulted in the deaths of both black and white people, with estimates ranging from 5 to 40. It was a violent and tragic event that influenced the city and its population. The situation worsened when a white crowd, numbering in the thousands, assembled outside the Sangamon County Jail and demanded that the two men be handed to them. The Slocum Massacre of 1910 was a terrible episode that occurred in Slocum, Texas, United States. It was a cruel racist massacre targeted at blacks and resulted in the deaths of a high number of African Americans. A Little East Texas hamlet called Slocum had over 400 residents, with African Americans making up half of the town's population. According to numerous publications and eyewitness accounts, Sperger started the incident by complaining that blacks had threatened him. Don't you think people banning black history in schools would limit students' understanding of important historical events and contributions? But we know that three things cannot be kept hidden, the sun, the moon, and the truth. All the activity of the human mind is directed not in revealing the truth, but in hiding it. Black sugarcane workers in Thibodeau, Louisiana, attempted to unionize on November 23, 1887, and demanded fair salaries during the vital harvest season. These workers suffered difficult working circumstances, long hours, minimal compensation, and scripts that only could be used at plantation stores. However, their peaceful protest ended in tragedy. One of the few unions that organized black employees, the Knights of Labor, persuaded the sugar cutters to demand $1.25 in cash each day. The atrocities continued to extend to other plantations, killing about 60 individuals randomly and leaving many of the strikers dead in unmarked graves. Those who survived were forced to seek refuge in the forests and wetlands. The Thibodeau Massacre was one of the worst incidents in American labor history. Yet the Southern white press hailed the militia and vigilantes' conduct throughout it. Andrew Price, the sugar farmer who participated in the attacks, even got a seat in Congress in 1888. While the victims who included women and children remained anonymous, only their loved ones were aware of their deaths. Black farm workers didn't make another significant attempt at unionization until the 1930s after the murder and the adoption of racist state legislation by white Democrats, which included disempowering the majority of black people. Decades of organizing by sugar workers ended. 
With this, we've reached the end of this video. For more of this content, subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell to get notified. So give us a like if that was informative. All okay, goodbye for now. See you in the upcoming video.